Hey, y'all, what's going on? It's Ruby back in the fucking building. And guess who we have today? We have two, not one, back again with the double. I know y'all miss Double Trouble because Double Trouble gets into it. CEOs, Cam and Phil, y'all know them? <laughs> Owners of Good Karma NYC. How y'all doing today? Good, doing well. Doing what? How you doing? <gasps> I'm excited. <laughs> How excited? I'm excited. Maybe, maybe I'm really excited because I'm like very tired. You know, like, you'd <laughs> nah, be like I'm mad tired, you'd yeah. be mad yeah. hype. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Exactly, and then it'd be like one hour, you crash it. <laughs> it's definitely a fact. <laughs> All right. So now that y'all know my whole life, let's get into why we're here. <laughs> so Good Karma NYC, what is it? How did y'all come across it? You know, I had came up with it. La- I came up with it last year. Um, I don't know if you know, I was halfway through death, basically, with yeah. COVID. Um, mm-hmm. And then when I woke back up from COVID, I was like, damn, like, how am I going to get back on my feet and get back rolling again? So I'm like, I always wanted to start a clothing brand. So I was like, how am I going to do this? So then um, I started uh, just coming up with names and stuff. And I asked the nurse, hey, can I get, like, a piece of pen and paper? And I just started sketching. And I was like, yo, the karma could be fire because I was like, everybody relates to karma. You know, everybody would be like, oh, karma's a bitch, your ass, or like, karma right. won't get you, stuff like that. So right. I'm like, you know, let me just transform it into like good karma instead of the same karma. So you was out? You was, it I was, was a coma? I was, or you was... I was um, with tubes, everything in my mouth, wow. and everything. Facts. Wow. Halfway through that. And then you woke up and then you started plotting. Probably like, it was like recovering and stuff, maybe like the third or fourth day when I was okay. recovering. Right. Yeah. And so now, how did you choose it? I mean, you said you was writing it down. You just had a feeling, or you was just um, like run with it. I wouldn't say uh, I had a feeling and like ran with it right away because it was still like kinks and stuff. Like, right. who am I gonna like partner with and stuff mm-hmm. like that? And he wasn't even. I didn't even. Yeah, I wasn't even around. Right. I was just supporting him like from the outside. In my head, I'm like, yo, I can't do all shit alone because I'd be all over the place like doing a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. So. I was like, oh, I need to find a partner. So, like, I know Cam's in the fashion, and he, like, music and this, that, and the third. So, I'm like, yo, you want to hop on? Then he's like, yeah, I'm with it. Like, yo, let's get it done. I was like, all right. So, we just started rolling with it like that. Um, Made a couple of mistakes and stuff in the beginning and stuff. But now we got a system, and it works. And not in the works. We have a system, and, you know, we're structured, very structured now. So, things are going to really start rolling for sure. Okay. And so, what, what, what was your beginning look on it, Cam? My beginning look, I mean, it was easy for me because we've been so close for it's going on 10 years now right so like the trust has always been there loyalty has always been there and good karma that's something i like like the concept around that's something i live by Mm -hmm. as well as like as well as him so it kind of was like an easy connection okay it was like a no-brainer like when he asked me i was like no doubt i got it It made sense yeah it made sense okay and so i hear you guys talking about like karma good karma at that Mm -hmm. and how it kind of makes sense and it's a part of your lifestyle and you believe in it do you really relate it to religion at all or is it i wouldn't even say you really relate it to religion i i kind of feel like it's like a universal thing right thing because like like so so funny thing is when i got the hospital and i know when i was in the hospital i was uh, telling my sister i'm like yo let me get my phone back she's like nah nah you can't get your phone back you recover da 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 I'm like, yo, let me get my phone back, Right, because Lord knows what's on the phone nowadays. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, I'm like, let me get my phone back, please. <laughs> so, so they transferred me out of an ICU unit, and then uh, uh, I went to, I got out of it and stuff like that. I was, like, fiending to get out of it. I'm like, yo, I can't do this no more, because they had me on restrictions for, like, drinking and all that. Right, right, right. Got out of it, so she gave my phone back, turned on my phone, phone was going... Mad messages. I was like... The hell I had like over eight hundred plus notifications on my phone. Crazy. Aww. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like it's more so like, all right, like, you know, people like really you know how they say you to give you flowers when you're there and they don't give it when you're going, stuff like right. that. So like I was halfway gone, but I was like, yo, that's how many people like really mess with me. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like when I was like, yo, good karma, like, I can run with it. Yeah. You feel me? Wow. So. I'm glad to hear your story because I definitely seen something on Instagram and then I commented on it, but right. I didn't really know the whole nine yards. Yeah. And like, you know, when people go through stuff, it's not like they want to keep talking about it. Yeah. In and out, in and out, in and out. So, obviously glad to have y'all with us. Yeah, sure. Thanks for and having so, us. Absolutely. You. It's the Golden Impact. The golden we got it. Yes. <laughs> Good karma. Shout out Golden Impact, man. Yeah. Yes, I appreciate you. Thank you. And so I want to get into Good Karma NYC a little bit more.
So it's a passion I'm hearing, at least from y'all. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so is this only what you do? Is Good Karma NYC the whole 40 hours of the week? Or y'all in school? Y'all got families? Y'all traveling? What's going on? You can go talk. He's out all the time. Right now, right now, I do have, I do, like, work a part-time job right now. I'm also, like, taking care of my mom right now. Um, I'm just, just enjoying myself, really. Okay. Getting ready for the summer. Yeah. Twenty first summer we back. <laughs> summer time, summer, we missed out summer, on twenty twenty summer. I'm saying, but it's okay. We're gonna run it up. For Safely. Real. Safely. <laughs> Put your mask on. Your mask exactly. On. <laughs> mask on tested all that. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, folks? Uh me, I'm very versatile. I do a lot of stuff. Okay. That's why when he'd be like he'd be like nigga, you be running, I'd be like, Yeah, I'd be running for real. Yeah, he'd be busy. So busy all entrepreneur stuff or all, busy all entrepreneur stuff. I never work a nine to five a day in my life. Wow. Never work a nine to five a day in my life. Why is that? Not, it's not, it's not, I just I I've always been a risk taker uh in my family, I guess, cause my my father gave me the hustle side. Mm. Like he was an entrepreneur. Recipes to him. And then so, mm-hmm. and then my mom, she's a stability, she's a little bit of risk taker, but she not structured. Okay. So me, I, both of that combined. Now I'm, I'm like super structured. I got. A, I have a whiteboard in my room, like everything, Same. like all my finances, all that, <laughs> mm-hmm. everything. That's how I'm like, yo, you gotta get board. on that because like, if you don't got structure, in, I, I was. I remember reading this book. I can't remember what book it was, but if you don't got structure in life, you don't got no, you know, got no organization. No control. You, know, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have that, like, you are gonna be all over the place in a whirlwind. So it's like a right. tornado. Mm-hmm. Like every day, like I have something. I know, like on my counter, on my iPhone, like. I, I got this, I got this, I got meeting with this, whatever, I gotta do what I gotta do. Right. As you were talking about your mom, you know, you were going back and forth with her, but, like, when it comes to you and Cam, do you guys butt heads at all? Is it a great partnership? Uh, how does your... I don't think we butt heads. How does it work? He 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 teaches me patience. I love and that. And I teach him, you gotta be a risk taker and, yeah. like, get to it. He definitely it's teaches me, yeah. yeah I'm definitely. more conservative than he is. Yeah. He's more, like, an aggressive approach. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm more conservative. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 like I'm gonna definitely go. I'm definitely a persistent dude. I'll yeah. Back. Anything. Right. But we don't really butt heads though. Yeah. We kind of like we listen to each other. Right. Yeah. And, like, listen. We listen to each other. Listen. The communication is always there. Yeah, right. Like, gotta be yeah. key in a relationship too, fellas and right. ladies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> relationship, yeah. whether that's personal, <laughs> business, all. Did y'all yeah. listen? Yep. Did y'all hear? Are y'all gonna communicate? <laughs> It's the golden keys. Y'all need these. Yeah. With that being said, is there anything on the new upcoming things that we should look out for Good Karma NYC? I know your one year anniversary coming around the yeah, corner. Sure. Yeah. Is there anything we should, you know? Uh, these these teas about to we about to drop these in two weeks with some trucker hats. Uh huh. Or some trucker hats. Some trucker hats. Yeah. Some trucker hats. About to get that finished up, and then we got some. We working on a summer project for men, and we gonna tap into a woman line too. Okay. Yeah. And we just yeah. released these two. Yeah, I like good, the good Karma Subway series shirts. Yeah. yeah, it's the circles for me. The circles <laughs> yeah. and the font. You didn't peep that. The that's, font. That's the same it's, it's one. Subway, right? It's the same subway font. font. Yeah. yeah. And then the back. And then the back. So right here, as you can see, we have the Statue of Liberty. Buddha, it's not the regular Statue of Liberty. We have the subway stations. I mean, subway uh, stops. So Uptown and 161st is known for one of the most known stops. It's the uh, home of the transportation to Yankee Stadium. Mm-hmm. We got downtown in Brooklyn. And, and <laughs> everybody, know. everybody know about that stop. <laughs> yeah. Home of all the Brooklyn museums and all the festive activities down there. And the third stop is Soho and Prince Street Station. And that's home for one of uh, New York City's mecca of shopping centers. That's nice. tough. Uh, shout out to our graphic designer. Yeah, shout Cooley. out Cooley. Shout out Cooley. Aww. Cooley, Cooley. <laughs> shout out Cooley. I love and came it. with coming up with the idea. Okay. So I came up with that awesome. idea. He, I came up with that idea. Yeah. He came up with this idea. Okay, so yeah. It's it like we bounce off each other. I come up with a concept and then he'll just explain it. It got to be like that. Vice versa. It can't be it's like... Dope. It can't be one side of it. Exactly. I be telling him like I'm like he be telling me like yo is your thing I'm like bro like nah both are things like yeah, tell me yeah. like like what you 50, think fifty fifty yeah. to the wheels because he because he like because he likes to do he like looking at my fashion and shit I don't give a f <laughs> <laughs> I really don't you know what I'm saying like I be like yo that shit fire like I can always put a fit together right, I right. always go out you know just fly it don't matter but like he really into it Even but I'm I'm yeah, a yeah. business business savvy person right, like, right right like super like that's what I do. 
Wow. Uh, so it's a puzzle piece. Y'all really, wow. I like that. It works. It works perfect. It wow. will work. It is working and it is going to succeed. Yep. Yep. Only the exponential growth. Y'all already know what we <laughs> get into over here. I pay attention to my clients because I love all my clients, all right? <laughs> and y'all will love them too. You know why? Because we get busy over here. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, slowly coming down from the climax, let me give y'all a little energy and turn up. We just want to know what's really your biggest seller. So our biggest seller, well, our biggest seller <laughs> would have been, let me say that, would have been, but we made a mistake on our part. And we'll be honest about it because that's yeah. what happens in business. Got to. I'm sure um, mistakes. Sweatsuits, our sweatsuits. Our sweatsuits is about to come out crazy and just a little bump in the road and a little fumble. Yeah, a little, little fumble. fumble. A little fumble in a row. So but that's, some, yeah. that's what helped us figure out the system. right system and process that we needed going moving forward. Learn right. from your mistakes right. so that it could be better. Summer project. Summer, is, right. okay. summer project. Yeah, summer, is project underway, yeah. summer project is going to be you're gonna ride. They go, it's going to be rocking. I got a couple, got two models, you know, that's all okay. known in the New York area. Okay. Nice little video shoot, all photo right. shoot on the way. Yeah, facts. All right, so sweatsuits on the back burner. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I love a good sweatsuit. So if it's on the back, the back show. Nah, we still got them. We, we still got them. Okay, so that's coming out. But this at this moment right now, what is your best seller? What would you really promote? If somebody's watching this video and they like, dang, I want to cop something, what would I get? Uh, this tea right here, the Subway yep. Series tea, because mm -hmm. we learned that we we gonna make really custom items, but we can we can print out shirts all day right. like, with designs. But right. we really trying to get on some like custom level where it's like imprinted, like yo, that's like good karma, like you won't see that. Yeah. Okay. And we also like to put like a concept behind every like Thing. product. Like we we're we are super deep thinkers. Like, yeah. I, I'll be like, if I don't like this, and I'm scratching it, I'm throwing it away. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. If there's mm -hmm. no concept to it, like we're not just gonna put, put anything it out. out. Yeah. Something's gonna have a message or yeah. like some type of concept behind it. You know what I'm or saying? Or storyline behind it. For a fact. Okay. Yeah, gotta be. But these teas come in nude, royal blue, white, and yellow. They all on the site right now. Okay. These will be released in two weeks yeah. along with Chuckers. It's coming soon. So right. good common sports logo. For sure. For sure. I like that. Do we get into the numbers in the circle at all? The numbers in the circle? Y'all put numbers in the circle or it's just nah, NYC? No, it's just NYC. Okay, no copyright. They valid. <laughs> <laughs> and so with that being said, honestly, I appreciate you guys coming out. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Sure. And so how can we support you? How can we really, you know, show the love, whether it's the subscribers, whether it's the Golden Impact, our viewers, how can we help? So you can go to Instagram, put in Good Karma New York in the search we, bar. We got Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter at Good Karma underscore and why? see facebook good karma the brand that'll be changed soon and you can follow us personally philly uh two wise dot c and my instagram follow me at the cam hayes underscore okay and you can go shop at good karma nyc.com make sure you go shop go copy some gear for yep. a fact yes. summer we going up yeah. it's going up this summer sure. yes y'all need to be in one of these teas i need to be <laughs> we i will what do we say we don't say we need to we will we will yes we will i am going to be in one of those teas mm -hmm. and with that being said like phil said support black owned businesses small businesses entrepreneurs like let's get into it y'all know this is what we do here on a regular daily basis and i'm jacking them they jacking me we on the same type of timing mm -hmm. for sure so what timing are y'all on? <laughs> Drop it in the comments. Let us know what y'all about to pop out when it comes to the summer. Y'all going to be in the shorts. Y'all going to be fully clothed because y'all don't want to catch COVID in the air. <laughs> what y'all going to be wearing? Like, let us know how y'all really feeling. What y'all coming out in the summer? You, ne you never know. Good Karma NYC might see it in the comments and be like, oh, you should have been on that. Mm -hmm. So you never know. Drop it in the comments. Let us know what you're going to be looking like in the summertime. And with that being said, this was just a little sneak peek. Y'all already know how we catch up with our entrepreneurs six months later, holding them accountable, as well as getting the new updates. Give me the SLC. Y'all can give me the TLC too. But the SLC for me, subscribe, like, and comment. And y'all already know. Bang that bell for the next episode. We'll catch y'all real soon.